it's you. What's up? Hmm. Okay, sure. Why don't we stop somewhere along the way? It's tough being a team manager. You really don't get any respect. And the guys on the team all act like little kids. Where's my towel? Can you wash this for me? I'm not their mother, you know. At least I don't have to worry about gaining weight since I'm always running around taking care of them. How about you? Are you enjoying track and field? Oh yeah? That's good to hear. Thought it might be boring for you since you're so much better than everyone else. I can tell just by looking. It's like you've got your own style and you don't waste much energy. Well, if you have any questions, just ask Kaz. Um, you know, Kazushi. You guys are in the same class, so I'm sure he'd be willing to help you. You can ask me too if you want, since I'm the manager. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast established a new bond. Thou shalt have our blessing when thou choosest to create a persona of the strength of Kaha. Gotta run. There's a show I want to catch. See you at school. Okay, shopping for club stuff is done. Good thing you came with me. I didn't realize there was so much to buy. Also, I wasn't really in the mental state to do this alone today. Oh, nothing major. I was exaggerating a bit. Hmm. It's still bothering me, though. On today's classic literature pop quiz, I didn't know any of the answers. And before I knew it, I dozed off. I ended up handing in a blank paper. Tell me about it. And then Mr. Okoda got all pissed off. He called me to the faculty office and even yelled at me about the length of my skirt. I had to listen to Mr. Okoda lecture me for the longest time. He was all like, uh, this rate you'll end up as a good for nothing adult. And you're not putting enough thought into your future. Come on, it's way too early to worry about the future, isn't it? We're still just teenagers. Right? We should be allowed to enjoy ourselves now while we still can. Honestly, I haven't really thought about my future at all. I'm working hard for the track team, so I think that's good enough for now. As for the future, well, <laughs> I've got plenty of time to think about it later. Hmm, I guess this isn't the best place for a long conversation, huh? I'm gonna go drop these off at the storage room. See ya! It's dangerous to be running around here. Wait, aren't you? Oh, Andy Yuko. How many times do I have to tell you? You can call me Big Sis, nothing else. Oh no, they're gonna catch me. See ya, Andy. Hey, wait. And he's gone. That kid lives across the street from me. Why on earth are they playing tag in a place like this? I mean, it's dangerous, right? He should go play in the schoolyard or something. Oh no, the school gate is gonna close soon. Uh, I'll see you at practice. There was this one time I left some tissues in the pocket of my running pants, and then I washed it without realizing. Oh boy, did that make a mess. Oh, can you hang on a sec while I put my shoes on? 
Not again. It's the same stupid prank every time. Talk about unoriginal. Whew, at least my shoes are safe. Going that far would have been crossing the line. I have my suspicions, but I don't plan to confront her. I was pissed off at first, but eventually I just got used to it. Getting worked up about this would just tire me out. It's not worth it. But if I catch her in the act, I am fully prepared to grab her and teach her a lesson. Uh, that was a joke, okay? I'm a nice girl, really. Come on, let's go. So I figured this might be a good time to update our team uniform. What do you think of switching to running tights? They say it reduces wind resistance. Hey, look over there. It's Nishiwaki-san. Is that your new boyfriend? On to the next one already, I see. <sighs> Impressive, Nishiwaki-san. We're not dating. He's just a friend from the team. Come on. No need to act all polite in front of him. Just tell it how it is. I'm surprised you could even get such a handsome guy. Maybe I should become a team manager, too. You've got it all wrong, as usual. <laughs> Don't do it. You'll just be running around after everyone all day. And it's not very attractive for a girl to be so muscular, you know? <laughs> not so loud. Her boyfriend's, like, right here. I kind of feel bad for her. If that's really what you want to do, I won't stop you. But you're better off looking for a boyfriend elsewhere. A manager is a busy job. You won't have time to go around sticking gum on people's shoe lockers. What on earth are you talking about? <laughs> I haven't got a clue what that means. Of course not. It was just a random example. What's wrong? Did I say something to offend you? Not at all. Hey, uh, let's just go already. Sorry you got dragged into that. No, you shouldn't have to deal with that. Sorry. Uh, I should probably fill you in where you get the wrong idea about me. Let's go sit down. That girl in the black tights, we went to the same middle school. Back then, there was this boy on the basketball team who asked me out, and we started dating. But, turns out, he was seeing her at the same time. When she found out, she said I stole her boyfriend, even though I was a victim, too. She blamed me because I was the manager of the basketball team. Isn't that just ridiculous? And after I became the track team manager here in high school, that set her off on me again. But really, all I want to do is support others so they can be the best they can be. Remember the gum on my locker? That was probably her doing. She's definitely the type to hold a grudge. Oh, those girls have way too much time on their hands. All they do is complain and gossip. Why don't they do something more productive? They're the ones who should get a lecture from Akoda. They're not putting enough thought into your future. Tell that to them, not me. Oh, that reminds me. Sorry for what they said about you. They called you my boyfriend. Must have made you feel awkward, huh? Uh, hey, you! How can you say that with a straight face? And how many other girls have you used that line on, huh? When it comes to relationships, you should never play with a woman's emotions. Oh, right. Make sure you don't tell Kaz or anyone else about the two-timing thing, okay? You're the only one I've told. Oh, also, I broke up with that two-timing jerk a long time ago. Just so you know, uh, you might be thinking, so what, right? Yeah, what am I saying? <laughs> wow, that dragged on. It's late, we should be getting home. I'll see you soon. Oh yeah, have you been training to strengthen your core? It's a good idea if you want to shorten your runtime. 
you're less likely to injure yourself too. I was talking with Kaz about putting it in the first year's practice routine, actually. Do you mind if we continue talking in the cafe? I'm a little hungry. Ow! You again. Oh, man. You know, it's dangerous to be running around a place like this. You're lucky it's just me. But what if you bumped into a scary man, huh? If you want to play, do it at your schoolyard. But we can't play there. The sixth graders are always hogging everything by playing soccer. They said they'll move if we could beat them in a race, but we're only fourth graders. There's no way we could win. That's why we had to play tag here instead, Auntie Yuko. I'll let the auntie slide this time, but only because I feel sorry for you. All right, come with me. This field is so big! Wow, high school is amazing. They said it's fine for us to use the schoolyard for a bit. Normally, you wouldn't be allowed in here, understand? So don't touch anything you're not supposed to, and if something happens, let us know immediately. Can you promise that? We promise. Good. Then practice until the big hand on that clock reaches 12. And don't go inside the school building. All right, let's do this. Wait, come here for a second. You need to pump your arms more. And don't lift your legs so high, or you might pull a muscle. Come on, give it a try. You just gotta believe in yourself. Woohoo! Check this out. Wow! Kenshon, you're so fast! Hey, Big Sis! You should be our coach! I'm a real sucker when kids look at me that way. But I've never tried coaching before. What do you think I should do? Really think I should? It isn't a decision to make lightly. All right, I'll be your coach, but I'm not gonna go easy on you guys, and no one's allowed to quit halfway either. Got it? Got it, Coach Hugo! Hey, is he gonna teach us too? Is he your boyfriend, Coach? Never you mind about that. Now everyone, line up. I said I wouldn't go easy on you, didn't I? Positive. If you think you're gonna lose, you will. Don't be afraid of them just because they're sixth graders. That, that sounds hard, hard but okay. okay. Once they started calling me coach, I couldn't resist. Hey, um, I was wondering, would you maybe wanna do this coaching thing together? I know I'm asking a lot, but I don't know much about racing. And plus, you're really athletic, too. So if you'd coach them with me, I'd really appreciate it. I mean, why not, right? <laughs> Please? Honestly, I don't think I can handle it on my own. Oh, thank goodness. I'm sure those kids will be happy. I know that I keep asking you for favors, but I'll make it up to you one day. Straighten your back! And don't forget to swing your arms! Coach! Guess what, guess what? I beat Yuki-chan! I swung my arms really hard, just like you said! Whoa, seriously? That's amazing! Okay, next time, I want you to try running with your toes raised. You'll go even faster that way. Got it, coach! Phew. I did a lot of research on this, so I'm glad to see it's actually working. I mean, now that I've agreed to coach them, I gotta do a good job. 
right? I even used the school library for the first time to put together a training routine. I gotta say though, I'm amazed how much their times have improved just from correcting their form. Elementary school kids really learn fast, don't you think? Oh, I don't know about that. But hearing you say so does make me feel like I can do anything. Oh, these kids really give it their all. Oh! break right now it's important to take time to get good rest it's your age need to be careful not to overdo it you could get really hurt yeah but there's no time for that we can keep going come on we gotta show our fighting spirit mm, I suppose we do only have so many days to train here I don't know what do you think should I change the training routine maybe they should be running more Oh, you know what? You're right. I am the one who did all the research on how to avoid straining yourself. All right, listen up. I'm your coach now, so you stop running when I tell you to stop. That's a promise you've got to keep. But in return, I'll make sure you get faster than you've ever been. How does that sound? Think you can keep that promise? Monty, coach, you're on fire. What did you just call me? All right. Those who agree to the terms, go back to your break. Okay. Oh, sometimes I can't tell if they're actually listening to me or not. This kind of feels good, doesn't it? Like some coming of age story. So, um, thanks for giving your input earlier. Honestly, if I was on my own, I would have let them keep running. I'm glad I asked you to coach with me. It means a lot having you here. Oh, by the way, the kids seem like they want to run with you. You think you could do just one lap? It'd be setting a good example for them. We only have so much time to train here, so you have to practice on your own if you want to win. Yeah, we can do that. Good. And don't forget, know your limits and make sure you stretch properly. Oh, why don't you give them some advice, too? Yeah! Good! Spirit, you can do it. I know you can. Now listen, no matter what, think positive and don't give in to fear. Those kids are going to challenge the sixth grader soon. Apparently, the winners will get to use the schoolyard. Earlier, they asked me to write the challenge letter for them. A little worried, actually. Well, not just about the race, but also about whether or not I spelled something wrong. So, what's your honest opinion? Age difference really matters when you're as young as they are. Do you really think they can beat the sixth graders? You're right, a coach has to believe in her team. And they've all trained so hard, too. They'll be fine, right? After all, they learned from us. Oh, and why am I feeling so nervous? It's gonna be okay. I'm sure they can win. Come to think of it, I should have asked you to write the challenge letter. I probably should have used bigger words. Ugh, I'll be so embarrassed if those sixth graders laugh at it. Coach and the boyfriend. Coach, we raced them all one on one and two of us actually won. That means we tied the sixth graders. Can you believe it? They said they're gonna let us use the schoolyard now, and they want to be friends with us. 
They think we're pretty fast for fourth graders. They told us we should play together sometime. Oh, you guys! I never had a doubt. I know how hard you all worked. Wow, thanks. Um, big sis? <laughs> you don't have to call me that if you don't want to. Auntie Yuko is fine. One, two, three. Good luck with your boyfriend! <sighs> they called you my boyfriend till the very end. Oh, okay. Wait, huh? Hey, <laughs> don't laugh! Joking like that is bad for my heart. Oh, you really got me. Saying something like that out of nowhere. <sighs> you know what this feels like? The end of some cheesy high school drama series. <sighs> like the kids have left the nest. Now that it's suddenly so quiet, yeah, a little. <laughs> Although it was pretty tough at the beginning. Teaching those kids how to race. It was pretty fun. They looked so happy every time they got faster. And it made me happy too. That feeling of wanting to help them just kept growing bigger and bigger. You know, this might have been the first time I really put my heart into something. And it's not that I've been slacking off as a team manager, but maybe helping and teaching people is more of my thing. Kind of made me think about the things I should do for my future, I mean. Oh, by the way, I wanted to thank you. Maybe we should throw a little party, you know, to celebrate our first attempt at coaching. Hey, oh, I can't wait. Hmm, now where should we have the party at? I kind of want it to be somewhat fancy. I'll look around for a place. I didn't have much confidence at the beginning. So you being here with me was really... Well, let's talk about that next time. We'll have plenty of time at the party. Shall we head home? that the party ended up being at my place. I was out buying stuff that might be useful for running practice, and I ran out of money. Oh, really? Good thing I took the time to tidy up. Feel free to eat as many snacks as you want, okay? It was a lot of hard work, but I'm glad we decided to coach those kids in the end. What do you think? <sighs> um, sorry. It's just... I never noticed how long your eyelashes are. I don't think I've looked at you this closely before. It's only the two of us here now. Maybe that's why I'm a little nervous. Uh, how about we change the subject? I'll ask you a question. Hmm. Oh, do you like children? Really? Me too. I like how they're so pure and always try their best. It just makes me want to support them as much as I can. I realized recently how much I like to look after other people. Let's see. Uh, okay, next question. Let's say you get married and have a kid. Would you want it to be a boy or a girl? Is that really how guys think? Oh, if you mean you don't care as long as the baby is healthy, then I agree with you. Either way, I would just hope that the baby didn't take after me. You could say I'm a little rough around the edges. But if they took after you, I'm sure they'd be super cute. They'd probably be athletic, too. I wonder if they'll take an interest in sports. By the way, do you look more like your dad or your mom? I've been told that I'm the spitting image of my dad. It's not that I mind, but I do have mixed feelings about it. I mean, we don't look that much alike, right? My eyebrows aren't as bushy for one.
So then I went to ask about it after class. And you know what happened? Miss Miyahara just wouldn't stop talking. She wrote out some weird math formula and said, it's beautiful, isn't it? All it did was make me more confused than I originally was. <laughs> Guess I'll have to go ask again tomorrow. You think so? I guess it just feels wrong to not try and understand something. Anyways, I decided to start being serious about my future. Remember when I told you about what happened to me at school? It was when I handed in a blank answer sheet for that pop quiz and got yelled at by a coda. Back then, I just wanted to graduate and go to a community college or something. But after coaching those kids, I started to realize something. I enjoy helping people who are willing to give it their all. So, I finally figured out what I want to do with my life. Can you guess what it is? Hmm, close. You almost got it, Mr. Ex-Assistant Coach. I'm thinking of becoming an athletic trainer. It's their job to monitor each athlete's diet and help them plan their training routine. So I'll go to professional school once I graduate and then work towards earning my certification when I turn 20. Between the general education requirements and the classes for my major, it's gonna be over 350 hours. That's why I'm gonna start studying right now. Improving my writing is my first goal. It took me all night to finish that three-page essay, but those kids had a huge influence on me. I know I only agreed to coach them on a whim, but teaching them really made me think. I started wondering what I could teach my own kids one day. And I realized I didn't have the slightest clue. If you hadn't been there with me, I don't think I could have stuck it out until the end. And I definitely never would have thought about my future either. So, thanks. Uh, also, I know I'm always asking you to stick around and help me with stuff. I just, I kind of feel bad about it. I'm sorry. I realize now that I might have been relying too much on you. Oh. Why, why are you so nice to me? Are you like this just with me? N no, no, that, that can't be it, huh? 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 What? Y <laughs> you mean me? Uh, uh, uh are, are you sure? I'm not girly or anything like that, you know? What's happening? <laughs> Is this a dream? Uh, um... Me... Me too. I feel the same way as you do. That's why I'm so happy. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I have to go. I've got to study. <sighs> um, I'm looking forward to... us. Oh, I forgot to mention, during lunch break today, that girl was trying to bother me again. You remember, right? She's the one who put gum on my shoe locker. Well, this time, I told her what I thought right to her face, that she should find what she really wants to do in life. She probably didn't get what I was saying, but ever since I figured it out for myself, I feel like I've been able to see the bigger picture. I mean, I kinda used to be the same as her, you know? I guess I've learned how to empathize better now. Not to mention, you did end up becoming my boyfriend, so... But, uh, that's not why I invited you here. I guess I could have told you this next part at school, but I wanted to talk somewhere quiet. Mm, sort of? Oh, but it's not serious or anything. So you know the kids we coached? They each left a message for us. I know they were kind of a handful. They also have an endearing side to them, don't you think? Oh, you're so sweet. So 
sometimes I can't believe how open-minded you are. I think I need to learn from you. Here, this one's for you. The kids told me to give it to my boyfriend. <laughs> Aren't they cute? That's what I invited you here for. Uh, well, actually, that was just an excuse. Because today, well, my parents aren't home, so... Yeah, so, um... I, I just mean, you can stretch out and relax. <laughs> we won't get yelled at for being too noisy. <laughs> it's just, I was able to find my true calling thanks to you. I'm so glad I met you. Those are my true feelings. And I hope you feel the same. So, will you stay with me a while longer? I am thou. Thou art I. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the strength arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon thee the ultimate form of the strength within thyself.